have you ever considered what it would be like to live alongside dinosaurs? Everybody always talks about bringing dinos back to life now, but I want to know, what would it be like if we went back to their era? Could we survive the Jurassic period? We got in touch with the legendary paleontologist Steve Frusati, who believes we stand a chance, but there are a few things to consider. The primary concern, as with any Mesozoic survival situation, is to eat and don't get eaten. So let's start with the latter. Predatory dinosaurs of this time actually had far better vision than you might expect, having watched certain dinosaur-based movies. They actually had really good binocular vision and some could see at night, making them effective nocturnal hunters. By analysing the brain cavities of fossilised remains, we also know that predatory theropods like Allosaurus had a superb sense of smell. So, all in all, hiding would be pretty impossible. Instead, we would have to rely on our grey matter. We'd have to study them to calculate their exact hunting strategies and daily movements, so we'd have to become the most informed paleontologists just to avoid being eaten. So, what about food? Well, almost all dinosaurs laid eggs, which could be a fantastic source of protein. And nest raiding was common practice amongst opportunistic dinos. In fact, that's why dino eggs are relatively small for such massive creatures. Large eggs just take too long to incubate, increasing their chances of being snatched and eaten. Of course, if you are going to try to steal eggs, you have to be prepared to meet mum. There's nothing actually stopping us trying to take down the great herbivores of that time, like Diplodocus or Stegosaurus, but it's unknown if a human could actually throw a spear hard enough to penetrate their thick skin, and their long whip-like tails would soon bring anyone down to the ground. Even if we did manage to take one of these behemoths down, the quantity of meat would be so vast that it would attract many dangerous scavengers. Some of the great pterosaurs, the first vertebrates to take to the skies, are thought to have scavenged like today's vultures. Some pterosaurs were the size of paper aeroplanes, whilst others were as large as jet fighters. Not exactly the safest dinner guests in the world. Perhaps the seas would be a better place to go and search for food. During the Jurassic period, many of the continental interiors were flooded with rising sea levels, leaving lots of warm, shallow water for marine animals to flourish. Snails and ammonites diversified and could make a great snack, but let's not get carried away, because these waters also harboured some of the most lethal marine animals to have ever lived. Fish like ichthyosaurs were at their height and the enormous plesiosaurs like Liopleurodon were true apex predators. Maybe we should consider a vegetarian diet. Terrestrial plants were abundant in the Jurassic, but they were very different from today. Flowering plants still hadn't evolved, so there were no true fruits. Ferns, ginkgos, conifers and cycads would have dominated the greenery, and there would have almost certainly been some edible seaweed and fungi. But determining which is safe to eat and which could likely kill you would be extremely hard. The pine seeds of some conifers might be safe to eat, and the ginkgo did produce a primitive sort of fruit. The seed is encased in a squishy outer layer, which is edible but it smells of excrement, so we might have to keep that one off our Jurassic menu. Assuming we could find enough food, the climate would be surprisingly nice. There's lots of evidence to suggest that it was hot and humid during the Jurassic period, with global average temperatures of between 2 and 6 degrees Celsius warmer than today. Of course, it's worth noting that we don't actually need to conquer time travel to live amongst dinosaurs. Today, our planet is populated with over 10,400 species of modern dinosaurs, birds, and lots of the flightless species, like ostriches, emus and cassowaries, probably would have behaved like many of the small to mid-sized dinosaurs. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this with friends and stay tuned for more great videos on Earth Unplugged. Right now, there are around 7.4 billion people on our planet. And over the course of this film, that number will increase by around 700. So have you ever considered how many people could live on Earth? If resting on the bottom of our swamp, it's not long before sediment begins to wash over him due to floods and other natural phenomenon. 